Hi guys, welcome back to Tactic Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to use your own image in Leonardo AI. Add your image to AI and make any image with your face. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now, in today's video, like our title suggests, we will be demonstrating how you could use your own image to create some amazing images generated by AI. For example, you have Superman over here. You will be able to use your own face and have the same body and like the background, all those different elements, but this time with your face. I'm going to be showing you the method on how you will be able to do that. So let's dive right in. Now, there are two ways or rather three ways that you will be able to do this, but we will only be tackling the two ways. And the other way was using AI Canvas, but for me personally, it's still in development and I don't prefer using it because it's sometimes buggy and for me, I prefer using the generic or the typical AI image generation. So let's go there. Let's open it on a new tab. And the two ways that I'm talking about will be done over here in the basic generation. And you know, this is like the typical area where you will be able to generate your prop. You have your prop area over here, your different model. Uh, let's select a model for now, actually, or let, let's do it later. So over here on the left side, you're going to look over here on the left side on settings where you could modify the different settings of your generation. You will be able to see on the bottom the option image to image. And you have the other one, image prop. Now, these are the two methods that we will be able to use to be able to apply or use our own image on our generation. Now, what you're going to do is you're simply going to upload an image that you have into this part over here, which would allow you to use that as a face. And image to image, basically like the definition or like the title means, it will use an image that you will provide to help aid build an image that you're trying to build. So for example, we have this generation over here. If I uploaded a cave beforehand, and this will allow us to have some basis. The AI will have some basis on what type of output you're trying to get. And that is how image to image would work. Now image prop will use your image as a source or like a reference. So image prop is much stronger or much more preferable to use when you're trying to put your face on an image than the image to image but image to image still works similarly so you will still be able to do that so right now i don't have an image yet so let's go and look for a portrait in pexels over here simply search portrait now pexels allows you to download stock photos and stock videos for you to use for anything that you are trying to do so let's simply look for a very simple photo over here preferably a portrait that is looking in front of us so that the AI will not have a hard time creating an output so for example this time this one so simply click on download you will be able to download this photo absolutely for free and there we go simply go here to Leonardo again and put it on the image to image and as you can see you have your output or your photo over here now you will see the settings over here in its strength now the definition of this is that the higher the init strength, the more the original photo will be preserved. So, for example, I say Iron Man or something like that. You will be able to put an Iron Man on this image, but the higher the init strength, the more original this image will be. So, the lower it is, the more creative Leonardo will be, and the higher it is, the more original it will be. So, let's go and look for a prop that we hear. For example, this one. I'm simply going to copy the prop and let's see what would happen if we try to make them together so this one is using absolute reality 1.6 so let's simply look for that version let's click on other models platform models and absolute reality 1.6 so let's look for that so that we have a similar output there we go generate with this Im image or this model and you can check out the different settings that it has done there is no negative prop so let's simply click on generate now this will generate with a 0 0.3 in its strength and let's see the output that we will be able to produce. Let's see if we will be able to get our image or this portrait over here with this style over here. Now if it doesn't, put the face on it. You could increase the in its strength slightly. Don't put it to the max of course. 
but you could put it slightly but there we go as you can see it has a similar form or like portrait the artistic is still there although it's a bit toned down but you can see that the face and like the facial beard it's still there so it's generated an image for us with the same like place where the person originally was so let's increase our edit strike to see if we will be able to actually make it more closer to the face that we have so we'll generate again four times over here and let's increase it one more time to 0.6 so that we have multiple uh, image generating over here and that's how you will be able to use the image image and there we go as you can see now there will be a perfect balance with the edit strike of course if you click on show more settings you will be able to see options over here as well and there we go although it's having a harder time so simply find the perfect balance right now uh, earlier it was too much the prop was too stronger this one it's kind of in the middle but it's struggling and this one this one is now original and like the output that we want to have like this style is no longer present over here but the face is present and that is why i said it is possible to do it with the image to image but it is much harder now we're going to do it with the image prop and there is a requirement for the image prop which is the where is it magic prop there we go this prop magic over here and now we have image prop available for us to so simply drag your image again and as you can see there will be your upload image over here and then you can check out there's the image way which will work the same the higher the value, the more the output would look like the reference image. So let's go with the 0 0.9 for now. Generate that. And let's lower it to halfway. Uh, let's go with 0 0.7. Generate that as well. And let's go with at least a 0 0.5. Click on generate. And now let's see the next output. We have three generations over here being generated. There we go. We have the first one. Uh, it's a very good style but it's not showing us our original image over here i guess we could increase this as much as possible to see how that works as well generate and there's also more ad advanced settings over here that you could play around with and this the second one uh, again it's not that similar but you get i think you get the a uh, color eye color i guess all right there we go then we have our third one over here still a bit far it's it's hard it's not that easy to be able to do it or to be able to pull it off perfectly of course so you're going to have to try and try again if this doesn't work let's go and try another prompt over here uh, sometimes you just have to change your prompt to a better prompt because it's going to have a harder time to build your output so let's go with this one for it i guess copy and let's go paste our prop over here again over here on the top Unfortunately, on the last one, we weren't able to really capture our original image. I guess on the set, on this last image over here, kind of. You kind of have it, but uh, let's go with this other prop over here. And let's try how we will be able to do it this time with this one. Now, if you want to try my strategy where I'm just going through the general photos over here or like the community page and copying the props because that would secure and allow us to have a specific image already to be generated because we already know the prop and like the output so let's see this one uh, it's still far away it's not trying to uh, it's having a hard time with our image over here so uh you're going to have to really pick out the perfect uh reference as well the perfect prop so let's actually make it a simple prop this time. Let's say Iron Man. Then click on, I guess, let's go with Leonardo Diffusion. Click on Generate. And let's see the output that we will be able to produce with a very simple prop. And let's see the output. We have our image way over here, maximized. And hopefully we'll be able to do it. And we have our image over here. I guess it's having a hard time with our generations over here hopefully when you guys try it out for yourself you will be able to have a better output although we still have a uh, good uh, results so far hopefully when you try it out yourself you will be able to produce a very good output let's leave it there for now guys so if you enjoyed this video guys please leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching